Prim's algorithm. Before we get into that, let's remember what minimum spanning trees are. A minimum spanning tree is a subgraph that connects all the vertices and it must not include a cycle in the tree that it creates from a graph. So, what is Prim's algorithm? Prim's algorithm creates us a minimum spanning tree from a given graph. Let's go through an example. So, we have this graph here and let's run Prim's algorithm on it. First, we pick an arbitrary vertex and I want to pick A. I want to start with vertex A. So what happens is we pick our vertex A and we look at the connected edges it has and we pick the edge with the minimum weight which is through here and then we connect that edge. Now we reach to vertex D. Let's show that in the graph go A to D and our edge weight is 2. Also, the reason we call it minimum spanning tree is because the vertices we connect, the edges between them, when we add them together, they have the minimum possible weight that we can obtain. So, let's go through continue our example. So, we have A, we have D. What is the edge that we can go from A or D? So, D has all these edges, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one, and A can go 4 and 5. And here it's obvious that we can choose the one with the edge weight 1 that goes to D. Now the vertices we have are A, D, and B, the edge weight 1. Now we're going to check the edges from A, D, and D. We have 2 here from B, we have 4, we have 3. 7, 8, 4, 5, and the one with the minimum edge weight that is connected is 2. So we pick this weight and we add E to the graph. Now we need to pick the next edge with the minimum weight. We can see we have 3 here. Okay, let's add 3. But well, there's a problem, we cannot add this 3 because if we add this edge, then we would create a cycle and the rule we have with minimum spanning trees is we cannot have a cycle and what Prim's algorithm does here is we cannot have a cycle so keep adding connected edges but we cannot create a cycle so for that reason we cannot add this edge and we can never use this edge actually because it creates a cycle so we're going to check the next edge we have 4 here that is connected we also have another 4 here but if we want to add this 4 we would create, a, we would create another cycle between A, B and D which we do not want so we cannot add that edge either and let's cross that edge out so what is the next smallest edge? We see 7, 10, 8, 6. We have 4 from B to C. And then we reach C now. The edge weight is 4. So um, these are the edge, uh, vert vertices that we connected now. And let's check the next edge with the minimum weight. We are looking at them and I think it's pretty clear that the edge with the weight 1 is the smallest among all the edges that we are connected and we are clearly choosing that one so we're going to have a connection here called 1 now uh, looking at the edges we have what is the next smallest we have 5 here but we cannot choose 5 because if we choose 5 then we will uh, create a cycle between A, D and C which we do not want so 5 is not an edge that we can choose and next we are going to check 6 6 is the next smallest edge and then we're going to connect F to G and get G. So we're going to have the edge with the weight 6. So this is how Prim's algorithm works and if you want to find the weight of this graph, we simply add all the edge weights that we have which are 2, 4, 7, oh, 2, 4, 1 which makes 7, 
uh, 8, 10, 6, which means 16. So this is our total weight, and this is what Prim's algorithm does to a graph. It creates a subgraph with the minimum edge weights possible that connects all the vertices.